Once there was a preacher by the name of Ted Haggard Who stumbled from the path, or you might even say staggered He was one in a million, or more aptly one in ten Some folks say he put the men in awe He preached the gospel message of intolerance and self-loathing And traveled on his wayward way betraying his betrothing He was the soul of piety and no one doubted him Until he hired a gigolo and used a pseudonym So he humbly went to counseling and then Three weeks later he's born again, again Because Ted Haggard is completely heterosexual Ted Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Atheist Experience. We are live at a Sunday, June 1st, 2008. Uh, that was Ted Haggard is completely Ted heterosexual. Said, the weird thing about that was that he didn't even say, I was wrong. He said, the devil made me do it. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. So he didn't really even take responsibility. Yeah. And, you know, not as if what he was doing was actually wrong. It was just wrong as far as his religion goes. It's not yeah. like, oh, my God, he slept with a man. Like, yeah. that's so wrong. Well, it's only wrong as yeah. far as... Well, what was wrong was the way he went about it. What was wrong was years and years ago when he probably did find out he was gay but couldn't admit it because of his religious indoctrination, you know, uh, being, being very anti-gay. Um, went on to live this lie of being a married man and becoming a preacher and uh, raising a family uh, and then going around and doing all his gay stuff on the down low by hiring male prostitutes yeah. instead of just you know kind of, you know going through that you know sure there would have been that struggle when he was a young man realizing that he was attracted to other men but the right thing to have done would have been to have been honest with himself and uh, gone on to live his life. It, it was fascinating that the very same week that the whole Haggard scandal was exploding, and it was it was all sorts of you know, wonderful uh, late night joke fodder. And yeah. uh, I, I couldn't. I, I, it was just. It was. It was the greatest thing ever. I mean, if you were an atheist, right? I mean, here you have Ted Haggard, the leader of this president. Third, president of this 30 million member ev evangelical uh, Christian organization, the biggest Christian organization in the country, turns out to be this uh, adulterous, drug-abusing, whoremongering sodomite. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just it doesn't get better than that. And uh, that same week that this whole, all this anguish and strife was going on in the Christian community about that, um, Doogie Hauser, Neil Patrick Harris, came out as a gay man. And it was like this big, happy, you know, you know, the time yeah. of his life, and it was this real positive experience. And just contrasting the experience of Neil Patrick Harris and Ted Haggard in terms of just the way that they um, approached their, you know, the, the, their uh, homosexuality. Yeah. And so clearly the one was very, very damaging, Ted Haggard's, and the other has turned out to be a really positive thing for Neil. And, and, so, and not to make Haggard a victim... Uh, uh, well, he's a victim of his own of his own dishonesty, his own self-loathing. Well, he, his he's own he's in a religion that has taught him to hate himself, who he is. Yeah. From the you know, I, I that just baffles me. Yeah. Um, I don't know, and I've met plenty of homosexuals who are part of different Christian churches and whatever. Yeah. Uh, some I, of them are in churches that are you know liberal and accepting of uh, of homosexuality. Some of them are in Catholic churches. They have to pretend to be something they're not, or they have to feel guilty uh, about being who they are or it's it's not a sin for them to be gay it's just a sin for them to act yeah. gay yeah so as long yeah. as they pretend you know it's like that you know as long i don't mind gay people as long as they pretend they're straight yeah <laughs> i laughed my ass off when i saw a bumper sticker the other day it says i don't mind straight people, people as long as, as they, they pretend, pretend they're, they're gay. gay right which yeah. is i mean it's great and a gay friend of mine has a t-shirt that he likes to wear a lot that says nobody knows i'm gay which i think is the funniest thing ever so yeah you can't you can't live in austin and 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 like not know a lot of gay people so you can see firsthand exactly just how it is that uh, you know, depending on what sort of upbringing they've had, and and the the way that that has informed, you know, how they live their lives and just face up to who they are as a person. And usually, I find that uh, the more religious upbringing they have, the more that they are conflicted and have a lot of self-esteem issues. There was a preacher by the um, name of Ted Haggard who stumbled from the path, or you might even say staggered. He was one in a million, or more aptly, one in ten. <laughs> Some folks say he put the men in awe, oh, man.